The federal government is warning about imposter scams taking billions of dollars from people. Uh, those scammers pose as your banker, retailer, utility company, anyone you trust to get at your money. Yeah, it just happened to an East Bay school teacher as the school year was winding down. A Wells Fargo imposter swindled her out of $20,000. Yes, it's a huge loss, obviously, and worse, she says her bank, her real bank, didn't try to stop it. Seven on your side's Michael Finney is here with her story. It's just heart-wrenching. Yeah, it's, it's, un it's unbelievable. This teacher had just finished classes for the year when the imposters struck. In the middle of the scam, she actually drove to a Wells Fargo branch hoping to stop the thieves. Instead, she says the bankers told her they were too busy to help. Complete and utter panic. And Boris still feels the sting of the scam. I had tears running down my face. I was literally shaking. It happened as Anne's students were finishing final exams. Her cell phone rang. The caller ID said Wells Fargo Bank. I'm calling from Wells Fargo. You know, we're investigating, you know, some fraud that is going on right now. Are you trying to wire $20,000 from your savings account? I said, I am not. A man on the phone told her she'd better wire the $20,000 over to the bank's fraud department where it would be safe. So I said, okay, let's walk me through this. And then when that was done, he said, you know, there's another wire fraud transfer coming in right now in the form of 5,000 from your, your savings. So Ann followed instructions and wired $5,000 more. You know, at this point I see the money leave my account. And he said, no, no, it's okay. It's in our, it's in our fraud department. Then the man said, someone was trying to get another $3,500 through her Zelle account and believed him. I just panicked that someone somewhere in the world had access to all of my money. And drove to the nearest Wells Fargo branch with the man still on the phone and told a teller someone was attacking her accounts. Silently, the teller warned her the thief was actually the man on the phone. It's in mouth to me, it's not Wells Fargo. And I started to panic. And pleaded with bank employees to stop those wire transfers fast, but to her shock, no one would help. I'm sorry, we're all busy. We're backed up with appointments back to back. You need to go to another branch, but we can't help you here. I was dumbfounded. Like, how can you not help me? You have a woman who's in, in the process of being defrauded with tears coming down her eyes and you send her away? And raced across town to another branch. It took me a ton of time to get through the traffic and the road work that they're doing on Crow Canyon Road. A banker at the other branch saw her in tears, responded quickly, and managed to stop the $5,000 wire transfer. But the $20,000? Too late. It was gone. Wells Fargo denied Ann's claim for reimbursement and called her to say she authorized the transaction. He was just like, no, sorry, Wells Fargo would never call you. And I said, you just called me from Wells Fargo. We asked Wells Fargo why bankers said they were too busy instead of trying to stop the fraud. The bank did not respond exactly, but said, we strive to do all that we can to support scam victims. We take these situations seriously and provide options, including our fraud team contact information. You send her away. Yeah, that's, that's what disappointed me the most. These scams use a lot of the same tricks like fake caller ID. Remember, the caller ID you see on your phone is easily fake. Never trust it. Um, also, you've got to verify who's really calling you. Your bank will never ask you to wire money for any reason at all. If you hear that, it's an alarm bell. It's a scam. Hang up. Don't wire money. Yeah. Because when you wire money, you can't get it back. It's already right. gone. Right. It's so, they get you going, you take the bait. It's just the, I know. I, I can't know. believe the bank sent her away. But employees, according to her, didn't have a human response? Right. It's, it's yeah. fascinating. That's like you're in a pool drowning and the lifeguard goes, well, I'm getting off in two yeah, minutes. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, I can't yeah. help you.